you just watched the last video on why your backhand sucks. So your backhand doesn't suck anymore, but you want to take it to the next level. Well, we got the cameraman Hayden here. He's going to teach, <laughs> he's teaching you how to take your backhand to the next level. So, uh, well, Hayden, I'll grab the camera. Let's go. I got three points for you guys that I think is going to take your backhand to the next level. It's three things that I kind of focus on when I take my backhands. And I studied a lot of footage of the best backhand goals from the past few years in the NHL. No one's doing the old style anymore. I'm going to show you guys the new way to do it. Let's get into it. Whoa, right. whoa, 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 whoa. How good's your accuracy? Very good. Okay, good, because uh, that sun is expensive. Oh. <laughs> so your backhand isn't actually that bad, but it feels like you can't score unless you're right in front of the net. And there's a reason for that, and I'll show you later. Let's get into the first way that you can make your backhand that much better. Tip number one, you're not getting the puck far enough forward in your stance. I'll show you what I mean here. Maybe your backhand looks something like this, right? You can, you can get a decent amount of power. You can make the pipe sink, but they're all along the ice. It's easy for the goalie to save. You're gonna put it off the pad or right in the bread basket, right in the middle of the net, right? The reason for that is because you're not getting the blade open enough on the back end. You gotta scoop under the puck almost to elevate it. Now I know you don't wanna be sitting here like this and flicking it up like you're six years old, right? But there's a reason that all the pros, when they release the backhand, they're forward in their stance, sometimes even way out here when they're trying to reach around the goalie. It's to get that elevation on the, on the blade here. And this kind of goes hand in hand with Jeremy's point from the last video, the pull and the punch. When you pull it, it almost forces you to get the puck further forward in your stance and get that elevation. See, I didn't even try to put snap on that and it went over the net, almost hit the sauna. Good thing it was a weak shot. <laughs> so the problem you may be having when you're trying to get power and elevation on your backhand is exactly that. You're trying to release the puck too soon in your shot. Yeah, you might be able to get a little bit of wrist action back here in the stance and elevate it, but you can't really get that snap that you're looking for unless you release it further forward in your stance. And you'll notice when I do that, I shift my body weight with it. But for this first point, the main thing, release it from farther forward in your stance. So that's all fine and dandy. Get the puck forward in your stance, cool. But how do you actually add that power to your backhand? I'm gonna show you, this is step two. Utilizing your core to twist into the into the shot. Now you don't have to overemphasize this too much. And the thing that this also does is it forces you to use your legs and your arm, the punch out that Jeremy was talking about. If you're trying to twist really quick, your arm almost naturally flows with the direction that you're twisting, right? If you try to hold it here, it almost feels weird to actually use your core, right? So everything stems from the legs and the core, you're twisting up. If you play golf, it's kind of similar to that. You're twisting up with the with the puck, right? Twisting into it, pressing into it. So that in combined with releasing the puck forward more in your stance gives you that snap. And this can be taken even one step further when you're on skates. When you're on skates, you can actually use your edges to lean. And that's why you see guys like Sidney Crosby and Patrick Kane, when they're coming down there, they're off wing. They've got a guy on them. They're leaning into the their edges. They're utilizing that core to twist and put a ton of power on that shot. One final point on how to use that core. If you're just standing there and yeah, you're releasing it forward and yeah, you're trying to use your core, but your feet are so close together, you're not utilizing your legs too. That's the most important part to actually getting that twist is getting low, stepping into it. If you're in skates, it's almost like a stride into it. We can do another lesson when we're on the ice actually to show you guys some more tips there. But yeah, utilize those legs and twist. On to step three. So the third and final tip is getting separation between the puck and the blade. Now I know it might look like the pros don't do this, but I can assure you when you slow it down, they do. And the reason that it looks like they're not getting any separation on the blade is because they're able to fire the puck so quickly off the backhand that it's boom off and on the net in one quick motion. So when you're working on this, you can exaggerate the motion of it just to get the feel. And the reason it's important to get that separation of the blade because if you don't, it's a lot harder to get lift on the puck. When you have the separation, you can power and snap through the puck, right? Almost like a snapshot on the forehand, right? You drive under it. And I just sailed that so far over the net because I was trying to exaggerate. <laughs> so Patrick Kane, Crosby especially, 
when they're shooting the puck, yes, they control it on the heel, but when they actually shoot it, there's a bit of a separation, then a snap. Separation, and sometimes it's even this small. Separation, snap, and it's opening the blade from that further forward position that I showed you in tip one, right? Start back here, open it up, gap, and release. Now I promise you, when you first start doing this and you're adding in the, the core twist and the snap from further forward, you're gonna start putting them over the net. You're gonna have to fine tune it so that you can actually direct it bar down like that one. I promise you when you try out those three backhand tips, your backhand's gonna be infinitely better. You wanna release from farther forward, you wanna utilize that core, and you wanna get separation on the puck and snap through it really hard. Those three tips will make your backhand infinitely better, I promise you. If you have any questions, you can drop a comment down below, I'll check on them. And if you really wanna take your training to the next level, we have courses on the pond that are designed for beginners to intermediate. We're trying to get you out there having fun playing hockey, and that's what this channel is all about. See you in the next video.